That was the craziest night ever. The wind was howling. The tent was just leading over. I thought the tent was going to rip at some point. If it ripped, it was just going to shred itself. It was windy. All right, so fun trip planned for this weekend. Uh, nothing too, too fancy, just a three-day adventure heading up into the White Goat Wilderness. So from Calgary here, uh, driving north, about two hours to get to Rocky Mountain House, a historic place. And then from Rocky Mountain House, following uh, the David Thompson Highway 11 to Nordegg, that's another 45 minutes to Nordegg. Stop in if you get a chance. And then from Nordegg, another... Uh, 40 kilometers further is uh, Abraham Lake, famous for its uh, bubbles in the winter. And then I'm going to go down to where the Klein River dumps into Abraham Lake. So on the north side of the river is the parking lot for Coral Creek. That's where we're going to stage. And then we're going to follow the, the Klein River to its confluence with uh, Coral Creek. And then after that, we're going to turn north and follow Coral Creek. And we're not going to go far. We're going to go four or five kilometers and and just camp for the night uh in the summer you can definitely continue on further but um too much snow in the winter all right february 17th and it is currently uh 7 25 officially the sunrise this morning is at eight o'clock so you always get a little bit of daylight slight uh, half an hour before the official sunrise uh, so sunrise is at 8 o'clock and sunset is at 6 p.m. So that means I have 10 hours of daylight today and I'm going hiking with Wally. We're going to go uh, stage at the Klein River and instead of following the Klein River, we're going to turn north and head up along Coral Creek. So uh, I should be at the trailhead around uh, 10 o'clock. All right, again, winter, bring the big pack. I had the little pack at home. I had the uh, out the uh, outdoor vital satellite 60, and I had it sort of packed very tightly, and it could all fit, you know, three days worth of gear in winter. But the packing has to be so meticulous, and if your hands are cold, you don't feel like messing around. So the extra volume and the extra few pounds is no big deal. It is what it is. Winter requires. Um, a different strategy the gear is bigger heavier bulkier and accessing accessing everything is more difficult so I'd rather be comfortable and go with proven reliable gear so we're going around this mountain so right over there is Abram Lake the Klein River dumps into the lake and we follow the Klein River but then we're going to follow Coral Creek which heads way back into this country okay I almost missed it so I almost Right away when you leave the Coral uh, Creek Trailhead parking lot, uh, within less than 100 meters, it starts to climb, but there's a subtle uh, um, junction, so we're heading down towards the creek. Not enough snow for uh, snowshoes, so we got the micro spikes on right now. No. Hello, Klein River. Klein River, yeah. See the bridge from the highway. Holy. Wow. Okay, this is very far down.
start navigating, what would that do? Oh, fuck. Three hundred yards away from something I designated as a campsite. Step one, I have to go get some firewood. There's none in here. Well, he's got his tent set up. We got a fire ring. I walked all the way over there and there's lots of wood along the shore there, but too bad we can't just go across the creek. What'd you say, Wes, deep? <coughs> Thigh deep, yeah. Thigh deep. James said he had a surprise. Wow. This is not a long trip. It's only six, seven kilometers, so we can haul a little extra luxury, but this is beyond ridiculous. Oh, I haven't had a beer in six weeks. Oh. Yeah, Pilsner. I love Pilsner. I'm shaking, but that's because we've just been logging. Oh my god, that's good. Five of Diamonds. I don't know if anybody knows what the significance of the Five of Diamond is. It's, I don't know. I just know it's a Blind Man Brewery product. And we... If you go anywhere fishing in Alberta, you don't need to bring a whole lot of lures. You need a Len Thompson, which is a brand of lures made in Manitoba. You need a Land Thompson yellow five of diamonds. It's a spoon with this pattern on it and you will catch walleyes and jacks and everything. You don't need a lot of fancy gear. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Hmm. Look at the view. Look at the view. Look at the view, folks. In light of the video I just did a week ago of places you can hike without reservation, without uh, totally random area. We're just set up right here and maybe we'll see somebody on another day who comes for a day hike, but yep. probably not. Not a 
confusing. Oh. Best part of hiking? Not hiking. What do you call this, James? This is bacon wrap brie chicken with <laughs> broccoli and gooey cheddar sauce. Not much to do once the sun goes down. So it's now 6.30. So sunset was 6. 30 minutes later, it gets pretty dark. And... Uh, just make the fire bigger, stay warm by the fire, enjoy uh, the beverage, and uh, usually go to bed by 9.30, 10 o'clock. Luckily the wind went down. Oh, 9.30, yeah, so like I said, we'd like to sometimes stay up till 10, but it's cold, and uh, I got a minus 30 sleeping bag. It's not gonna be that cold tonight, it's gonna be like, minus four minus five so uh, we'll be plenty warm but uh, at the end of the night I take this off I'll sleep with just the fleece on and uh, I got some booties on some down booties and uh, now it's a matter of organizing things making sure my my uh, booties my other booties are close by so if i need to leave the tent during the night to go out and pee or do something like that i can find my booties quickly and unzip i got my water bottle in here so i can drink water and uh i'll get organized great day not far you know six kilometers did it in about uh two and a half three hours but the the, the views along the way were so spectacular we're not going farther. We don't have snowshoes and the snow's getting deep. So we're going to backtrack tomorrow and maybe explore a little bit. Um, j just so we don't stay two nights in one spot, we're going to um, lift camp and hike out and go camp somewhere else. We might be closer uh, to the trailhead on the last day, but um, the fun is just moving. So anyways... Um, that's the end of that. Good night, folks, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. shaking because I'm cold. <sighs> While he's waking up, I can hear him. Camera inside, camera inside, camera inside, camera. Too bad there isn't mirrors and behind us it could be an infinity shot. Yeah, right. How'd you sleep, bud? Oh, that was pretty good. Got a little cold around 5.30 for a bit. Yeah. And then uh, threw a jack and some pants and was good. Right on. Man, that thing's dark. Yeah, it's so nice, That's actually. the view we wake up to this morning.
So this is Coral Creek. You can just follow this creek way up, but in the summer, it's a fast running creek and you end up having to cross it many times and I guess the fords are dangerous, but it's on my bucket list to go up this valley someday. Well, another cleanup time. Yeah. How big's your pack? This one's a 95 liter ascent. Doesn't look like it's 95. That, when you go like that, it's just yeah. fat. Like it's not super tall, but just super fat. No, it says 90 actually, maybe I'm wrong. Not 95. Mine's a 95. Sure looks like somebody did stay here once. I mean, look at the view. We are down there somewhere last night. See, in the summer, I would never camp here because the water's way down there and totally inaccessible. So you'd have to make an effort, you know, before getting here or once here, you'd have to purposely go get a lot of water, you know. Typical evening, you need five, six liters of water kind of thing. But in the winter, whole new set of possibilities. I could camp right here right now because I got all the snow I need to melt and make water. So, you know, another advantage of winter hiking, you can stay in different places and access different areas. It's so fascinating. So this is the yellow dot indicated on all trails as the viewpoint. Yeah, I bet you people camped here. Yeah, no, this is not spectacular at all. Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. Oh, this is as close to the edge as I get. This does not make me feel comfortable. Uh, I don't like heights. And, uh, but look at this canyon. This is insane. do that to a squirrel took him a, like kill the squirrel right there took a shit <laughs> took the whole body away left the tail uh, there's a log down but no fire ring so we'll make one here fair amount of snow to melt and uh, we'll put trees this galore That's great amazing. place short day amazing Tree like that, dead standing, about four inches, perfect.
That probably looked good for the video. and close my eyes. Yeah, put your hand out. Put my hand out. Oh, okay. Is it gonna bite? No. Alrighty, so Marty, here's dinner. Got a beef rib tonight. <laughs> One each. Wow. Yeah, buddy. Holy shit. <laughs> Is it partially cooked? Yeah, it's already smoked. I was gonna say, you'd have yeah. to, that would take forever to cook that. Yeah, wow. just gonna sauce it. And Homemade barbecue sauce. Carnivores. <laughs> Brought a lot of this just to clean up as well. Wow, that's supper. Nice Two ribs. ribs. Been smoked already. Barbecue sauce. Yeah. This is the dressing for the hot potato salad and then gonna boil them for uh, fry those off. So yeah, I think it'll probably take me 45 minutes for this one to get today. Yeah, these things did amazing. Uh, yeah, these are not for walking on a sidewalk. These are definitely for walking out here on a trail. Really impressed with these. Drinking a chunk of chocolate. Listen to that wind. It's insane. No matter how big we made the fire, we couldn't stay warm because the heat bubble just was non-existent and it was dangerous to make a fire. Look at the wind blowing the tent onto me. Like, I'm just gonna turn off the camera or the, the light and just listen to the wind. It's windy. Holy smokes, is it ever windy. Wow. Okay, so... Um, sleeping bag, chair, boots, booties outside, food bag. Inside here I got a clothes bag, my jacket, uh, ditty bag, and I'm just wrapped tight into my sleeping bag. Good night, folks. That was the craziest night ever. The wind was howling. The tent was just leading over. I thought the tent was going to rip at some point. If it ripped, it was just going to shred itself. It was windy. I can't believe the guy lines held. It was pushing, wow. There's the Abraham Lake over there. Pretty pretty. Yeah? Uh, we got 
out just in time. The ride home, the drive home right now is disgusting. Uh, this storm would have hit us on the trail, but it didn't, so we left early, avoided it. Roads are bad, greasy, slippery. Um, anyways, I didn't I, I didn't t tape at the trailhead, but uh, we got up early. There was a storm coming over the horizon. Everything was dry. I mean, there's no condensation when it's windy. That wind, you know. So the sleeping bags, the tent, everything was bone dry. So we didn't mess around. We packed up everything quickly while it was comfortable, and then high tailed it out of there. So, anyways beautiful little hike you know uh, six seven kilometers in and six seven kilometers out gets you to some gorgeous scenery great for winter you know that's what I like about winter six seven kilometers is a perfect distance in winter hope you enjoyed that folks uh, give me a like give me a subscribe uh, provide some comments and uh, Marty saying get off the beaten path folks